Ready? <laughs> hey, welcome to the world of vintage guitars. This episode is probably not as vintage as the other ones because we have a special guest here, Detlef Borchardt. We know each other back from trade shows, Frankfurt yeah. show, from Andreas Klopmann, the pickup man from... Uh, it's, this is a Klopmann? Yeah, this is a Klopmann. Uh, uh, yeah. The Borchardt. Ah, Called the Borchardt. The Borchardt, okay. So <laughs> yeah, he's got his own signature pickup with Andreas. And he is uh, an, a lover and expert when it comes to Chavel guitars. Yeah. And um, he brought kind of his whole collection on Chavels with you? Is it five No, not, not, not the whole, but um, I think the, the half one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that's enough. So how did the whole thing started with you? With this guitar? With this guitar. Um, it's from 2001. Um, yeah. uh, I bought it in New York and uh, it's a way in Chavel. Ah, the man himself. Right. Uh, later, Cobra Jackson entered the factory, I think, or? No, uh, there were two persons, Wayne yeah. Charbel and Grover Jackson. Always? No, 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 right. It's later, it's uh, uh, Grover Jackson. Yeah, but anyway, so this is, yeah. this is the, the, the Wayne Charbel. And um, for me, what's, what's strange is the logo and the headstock, which says this is the Wayne. Ah, but it's uh, cool, it's Wayne, and yeah. this is Charbel. Yeah, and it's Ride a guitar similar. and write a guitar, and this yeah. is this guitar. The yeah. star one. So, you know, I have never seen one of these. I oh. have seen Chavels, 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 oh, Chavels. Okay. But this is the first one that I see. But I'm not the expert. This is why you are here. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. No. Uh, no, for me, that's new. That's, that's actually cool. So, when we talk about this guitar, what is, what, what is the story? What's the year? What is the pickup? What's the... the Hey, this looks to me a little bit like Zach Wild. But yeah, okay, okay, Zach Wild. But um, the first one is at the beach at uh, Santa Monica. In Los Angeles, a, Santa Monica Beach? No, um, uh, red and white, Volts ah. guitar. Mm -hmm. you know, and I think this was the first one. And then um, the band, metal band. Um, well, uh, some hair metal band yes. from the US must, must, have, must have, have copied this uh, yeah, uh, right, you know. on, on their guitars. And then finally, Zach Wild stole it from them. I think so. He was not the inventor, we think. If, yeah, yeah, no. if you think differently, let us know. But we, <laughs> we believe he's not the inventor, even though he's a great guitar player with a lot of squeal, squeal. Right. But um, yeah, bullseye. Yeah. Um, this one is, uh, you have the, you have kind of a lock tremolo, so, or it's, it's. No, it's um, uh, parallel or yeah. lying on the body. Yeah, lying I, on the no body for best. No, only yeah. down, down bend. Dive bombs. They are no. Okay, <laughs> dive bomb only. Okay, nice. Um, I think the sound is better. The sound. Yeah, of course. Uh, the sound is, it, it, you have more vibration going yes. through the metal to the body. And that makes a you know better attack. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, what else can we tell about this guitar? Okay, it's your Klopman signature pickup. Uh, what direction of pickup is this? Is this a uh, not a high output? I think it's uh, thirteen kilos. Kilo yes, that's okay for uh, maybe for hard rock. It's not high, but for no. me as a vintage guy, it's high. <laughs> it's more than. Uh, than, than traditional puffs, but uh, yeah, it's not one of those super high output. Here. Yeah, I get the point. It cleans up very nicely, yes. and it's not like right. it is, is. It has a natural frequency yep. response yes. uh, range. Okay, in the neck position, what's that? Uh, that's the or original, or I think, Simo Duncan. Simo Duncan looks very much like Simo Duncan. It's, or, it's original, or the original. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, and this is, this is the one that you started with. Yes, okay. with the love of Chavel guitar. guitars. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Hey, cool. And what else do we have in your collection here on the side? Uh, uh, can I, I, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I grab it or you swap it. Yeah, no. This was the next one. It's a real Chavel. Yeah. And uh, it's number 1030. Ah. But um, 
it's heavy. Yeah. It, it has been changed a lot. Yeah, yeah. changed a lot yeah. uh, of many of the years. Uh, yeah. For Rose, first there was a brutal color or what yeah. else, tremolo. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, this is a, 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 a replaced with yes. wood. So, yes. so, okay, it's kind of um, the wood. Uh, this or not original, this not. Yeah. Also Locking tuners. Uh, um, um, original 21 frets. Ah, and now this is extended 20, to yes. 20, 22, 23, 24? 20, 22. 22. I see, nice. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Do you ever play the neck pickup or is it more uh, like <laughs> um, you try to avoid it? <laughs> Only this one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then, Abort. Okay, just in case you want to sound a bit more bluesy, mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes to the chuck riffs, um, chaka chaka, yeah, chaka chaka. <laughs> hey, very nice. So, what what is the third one on the the uh, star one? Yeah, star one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here we go. This one is the newest in my collection. Okay, I got it for uh, two weeks, and uh, oh, I bought the. Um, nearly at Hamburg, Rendsburg. And this is, but this is also, what year is this? Oh, Prepo. It's uh, uh, 88, 80, 88. 80s, 88. Nick, no, 81. That's 81. old. It, yes, and it's a Prepo, no serial number. Ah, wow. It's number 155, or 55. Yeah, 155. Yes. Hey, uh, a strange hamburger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's look kind angry, of but it's original and uh, fits. Yeah. Point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sounds great. <laughs> Absolutely. I love the color. Yeah. This one and the back? It's reversed. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think the scorpions have done some similar things. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there was a, some inspiration back and forth with this kind of idea of okay, okay. Um, stuff. Yeah, we had uh, Rudolf here the other day. So ah, cool. Yeah, yeah. They, they have guitar, uh, <laughs> that, like this. Okay, and what's the red strat on on the first? That's more for you. <laughs> ah, for me. Okay. Uh, which is a single coil loaded guitar? Okay, let me see. It's like a strat, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the the neck shape is different. It's more it's flat. White, yeah, white it's, and flat. It's yeah. white and flat, exactly. But and I love this. Yeah, I mean that's that's why you have that strat. I have the old school strat with the narrow, skinny vintage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, but this yeah, this this is a strat for guys like you. And it's, sound great. Sounds great, yeah. It has all the the, the, the air. And it's fun because I'm used to five-way uh, select the uh, switch, and this is a, a three-way toggle, which is funny for for me. It, yeah, yeah. Muss man drehen, dann. Yeah. Da passiert auch was. It's 
looked like a telly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, fun. Um, so this is the proof that they knew how to make a Strat sound as well. And of course, the original, this is the original Fender yes. headstock. Um, hmm. A nice one. Yeah. The back. Um, in this year, this one. Ah, the heel. Right. Okay. So all, this, this all is Charbel has, has this. Yeah. So this is a, um, a nice heel. You know, we have seen a lot of different heels with different brands and um, this actually makes you feel great mm -hmm. when you play first position like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And it's actually something that is kind of very uh, ergonomic on <laughs> the, uh, the old school strat as well. Um, and some ma manufacturer, they, they, they get it wrong. And this is, this is nice, yeah, I have to admit. All, all have this. Yeah, all have the same. Wait a minute, Look. I check out this. What is this? Is this is like a. F f uh, oh, it's a Richie Blackmore second shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it does a little bit of the. I start to play in major. <laughs> It's a very rare um, model. It's at the pointy headstock with yeah. Eddie Van Halen stripes. Yeah, I mean, this looks Eddie Van Halen, so you have to play Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> Floating uh, Taylor Trimolo. Yeah, and okay. What were the pickups here? So that's the humbucker, obviously, and middle, middle, and simple switch, switch on, yeah. and that's it. <laughs> I think, you know, is this vintage? I think it's, it is vintage because we are getting older, the guitars are getting older, <laughs> and this is, you know, let's welcome this to the world of vintage guitars. Right. <laughs> It's anyone here. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Nice. Well, I think this was a little insight in the history of some Chavel guitars. A little, little insight. A little, 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 little <laughs> hints. Yeah. Sorry like, from English. Because, yeah. <laughs> no worries, Detlef. This was all cool. Thanks, guys, for listening. Cheers. Bye bye. See you. <laughs>